We are the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana. We are a membership-based nonprofit dedicated to the preservation of marine life and coastal conservation across the state. Well, Elmer's Island, it's about three miles long. It's the only barrier island. It's one of three barrier islands in the state of Louisiana. This is the only one you can drive on. It's open to people. There are a lot of people that like to fish that have no accessibility to boats. So Elmer's Island affords people. You can pull up here, you can go surf fishing, crabbing, just hang out here with your children, and it's a, a great place to uh, do all that. Today we are cleaning up Elmer's Island. What's so cool about this project is that it was volunteer driven. The members of the East Jefferson chapter of CCA said this is something they've heard. It's an issue. It's down here in Jefferson Parish at the very tip, but still Jefferson Parish. And they wanted to make sure it was ready for Memorial Day, ready for people to use. This is such a beautiful spot. This is one of the only public beaches with sands that you can drive on around this area. And to have it clean and ready and available for people to use is so important important and especially for fishermen. A lot of our members are anglers. Most of our members are anglers. You can find some amazing speckled trout right now, everything, but you don't want to have to trip over your glass bottles or your plastic bottles or driftwood. So our members are out here today making sure that people have a safe and happy time as they come out and enjoy the public beach. I think it's a hidden jewel to be honest with you. I think it should be publicized more. I'm a biologist with the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Uh, we're on Elmer's Island. Um, this right here in the back is a nesting area for least turn, so we've kind of got it uh, barricaded off. And um, CCA has come out today to help us do a beach sweep. So this is one of our natural barrier islands. Um, it's part of the Kamenata headland. It's an amazing part of our, hab our, hab our area, our habitat. It's really got a great uh, natural div diversity of plants, birds, and obviously uh, lots of fishing. It's one of the first barriers for storms and storm surge, and um, it protects the back bay area, which is all of Barataria Bay. It's basically ground zero for any hurricanes or storms that come through. This whole area back here has been planted with uh, different grasses, bitter panicum, different grasses to help build up the dunes. Right now we have least turns and Wilson's plovers nesting in the back. So that's that's sort of our main focus right now, but over the year we have just enormous diversity of birds. We have migrating birds that come through in the spring and in the fall. Um, we have a couple of endangered species that come through and, and overwinter on Elmer's, piping plovers, uh, red knots also come through. Enormous amount of pelicans, <laughs> brown pelicans, white pelicans, I could go on and on. It's a great event, it's a great place to fish. Uh, Need some cleanup, but we're doing it today for CCA. To make what have you picked up here so far? Uh, cans, bottles, lots of styrofoam plates, uh, diapers, whatever the whatever the heart can imagine. Lots of chip bags. What do you have to say to people who are going to be using Elmer's Island in the future? Bring bring a trash bag, pick up around your area, leave cleaner, leave it cleaner than you found it. Uh, such a great place to come. It's, uh, it's family, kids, wife, everybody has fun out here. Tell us your personal experience with Elmer's Island. Uh, I would have to say it's probably about 35 years ago coming out here to uh, camp and fish and uh, just always had a great experience out here. It's such a, such a unique place. You can walk, surf, fish. There's not many places like this in this part of Louisiana. I've been at CCA, East Jefferson chapter, for just going on three years now. And I find it important to, to volunteer and give back to uh, something that for the last 40 years I've been fishing South Louisiana. So from my standpoint, it's to give back. And it, today is one example. Uh, coming out to Elmer's Island, uh, we're doing a cleanup today. And we're, I think we're making a huge impact. Uh, this morning we got here before uh, the sunrise and we drove around and we saw all the trash, you know, litter. Uh, snack bags, water bottles, crushed uh, paper plates, anything you can imagine that the wind may blow out of your hands and it's, you know you just won't go pick it up, take the time. I would, I would recommend someone to come out and uh, take a little garbage bag with you and clean up after yourself. Uh, take the time while you're in the moment. Don't say that, uh, oh, I'll get to it later because 
time just escapes you. You're having fun, the kids want to go or go play, and your mind gets off of what you're doing, just trying to keep the area cleaned up after yourself. A lot of bottles, beer cans, uh, paper bags, just a whole lot of different types of debris. What's your reaction to all the debris that's out here? Ah, it's somewhat surprising. I mean, you know, for things like bottles and beer cans and th that can simply be put into an ice chest or a garbage bag and taken away when they leave the beach. You can come out here, family time, enjoy yourselves. Um, just bring an ice chest, a couple of garbage bags and bring your trash with you when you leave so that when other people come to enjoy themselves, you know, it's a safety. It's for safety for children and, and just so the beaches would be a nicer place to visit. It's just a lot of water bottles, uh, a lot of trash, mostly water bottles and a lot of tar balls still out here. Been picking those up and just cleaning up best we can. What about your personal uh, experience uh, working and uh, enjoying uh, uh, Elmer's Island uh, over the years? Oh yeah, we grew up fishing here. My dad used to fly a seaplane and land here with fish. A lot of good, good memories from here. What's your reaction when you see all this uh, cleanup work going on? Uh, it, it's something that was needed, has been needed for a long time, and finally we've gotten it together. Hopefully it'll start something and have more people doing it down the line. This is the first time I've been here. Uh, as a member of CCA, we were uh, called to come here and donate some time and clean up. It's a beautiful place. First time I've seen it, I'll definitely come back. Um, we saw a bunch of people fishing, so obviously that's the draw. And it's a, it's a beach that I never knew existed. What have you picked up so far? Everything. Uh, bottles, cans, food containers, plates, um, a lot of chip bags, Ziploc bags, garbage bags, uh, just a lot of debris that's either getting blown out of people's trucks possibly or maybe washing in from shore. Uh, we've also found some tar balls, quite a few tar balls uh, have been picked up. So uh, it's just general garbage and trash that would be very easy to put in a bag and, and keep contained. My personal experience with Elmer's Island was as a child. Uh, my father brought my family out here every other weekend. We fished uh, the beach uh, all the time, enjoyed ourselves, pitched tents here, um, spent the whole weekends. Um, but uh, in recent years, I haven't been back to uh, Elmer's Island, um, but wanted to join this cause and clean this up. I've been personally thanking them. I can't thank them enough. And that's what it takes. You know, it takes everybody pitching in and, and taking care of our environment. And, and this is what it's all about. I mean, this is, we're fortunate in, in, in Louisiana to, to have such a diverse uh, culture and a diverse topography. And, and you know, you can go uh, down here and go fishing off the coast of Grand Isle. And, and it's uh, the only beach we have. So certainly we need to we need to maintain it we need to protect it we need to keep it clean so that you know it'll be here for future generations Elmer's Island is part of Jefferson Parish part of Grand Isle and certainly it's one of the few beaches we have in the state of Louisiana people from all over the state come here and enjoy uh, the pristine nature of it certainly we went through um, a lot with the BP oil spill still have some tar balls that come up from time to time but it's back uh, it's better than ever and I want to thank CCA East Jefferson chapter for being out here and helping clean up the beach because uh, it's enjoyed by not only Jefferson Parish residents but as I said people not only throughout the state but the Gulf Coast and you can't beat the fishing we have the best seafood in the world you know Right off the coast of Louisiana and in Barataria Basin, we produce 30 to 35 percent of the fisheries that are consumed domestically in the United States of America. Uh, in fact, during the BP oil spill, uh, they had a U.S. Senate field hearing down here, and Senator Barbara Mikowski was here from Maryland. And uh, after the press conference, she, she uh, uh, whispered to me that we're not only going to make sure that we clean up the Gulf because it's the right thing to do, but we get a lot of our Maryland blue crabs are actually from Louisiana. So we produce a lot of seafood, certainly the best tasting seafood in the world. And uh, it's just a, a, a something that we need to preserve for future generations. That's our obligation. It's unbelievable to have this many people come out here on a Saturday. Remember, these are fishermen, so they definitely could be doing something else right now, mainly being out on that water. But they are here making sure that everyone else that's going to come here is going to be able to have an amazing job. And that's my favorite part of CCA is that it comes from the down up. 
the members, the volunteers tell us what they need. We organize it with the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, with other organizations in the area to make sure that everything gets done that needs to be done for fishermen and for conservationists in the area. I think we're doing something positive, something good for the environment and for the state. And we hope to do it. Uh, we hope this is the first of many to be to follow up on it. You should always go to CCA Louisiana to see what we're doing, how to contact us. You can go there and see new artificial reefs we're building or floating island projects or events like this today will all be right on there. We also have a Facebook page, CCA Louisiana, and all of our members, you'll see them around town. They'll have the join CCA fish. You can ask any one of them. We have a lot of banquets. We have a banquet in each chapter of the state. We have 26 chapters across the state. Uh, we've got a couple coming up in the next few months where you'll be able to to learn a lot about CCA Louisiana, help fund some of our major projects and have a lot of fun. So you should definitely reach out if you're interested in coming on one of those.